So this next uh, little short mini lab really is about a critical issue in GIS is getting your data to line up or dealing with uh, data that's got a bad projection or has no projection information. So um, there's an entire chapter in Price talking about coordinate systems and um, you'll notice in the ESRI trainings there are lots of uh, trainings about this. So this is uh, pretty important. And in fact, this used to be the first chapter in Price, and um, I noticed in the new text, uh, it is back again in the front of the, of the book about projections. So kind of an ongoing issue for people. So basically, I want to just remind you what a projection is. Talk about shape files. Um, and what to do if they don't have a projection uh, file as part of their assemblage of, of data. Um, how to change the projection uh, of a feature class or a raster. And then um, what do you do if your data comes in and it's not even in the right place? And I'm going to show you how you can corrupt data. Uh, not that I recommend that. OK, so basically that coordinate system is that reference system that locates points on the Earth's surface. We've talked about um, unprojected data or a geographic coordinate system. So that's just based on the fact that the Earth is spherical and no adjustments have been made for the distortion when you take that 3D image and try to lay it on a flat surface. A projected coordinate system then tries to transform uh, either the entire globe or uh, some portion of the globe depending on what distortion you want to minimize. And so you can uh, minimize the area distortion, the direction distortion, the shape distortion. Um, and so one thing to remember that for many people, a geographic coordinate system, just the raw spherical latitude and longitude, is the default coordinate system, and it's not even a coordinate system, it's the default uh, reference system for data. And so if you don't know what your data is, that is always the first place to go and try that. Um, and we'll look at a case of that. One of the nice things is ArcGIS aligns data on the fly. So I can have data in two different coordinate systems, or projections. And whatever I have set the table of contents to, all of the data will be transformed visually. It will not actually be transformed, but just a visual transformation will be made. So. Typically, data that is in a feature data set is accurate um, and all the same projection. And one of the reasons to use a feature data set is that all of your data will be in the same coordinate system and the same projection. However, you can put corrupted data into uh, a feature data set. And I'll show you how to do that. So. We dealt with georeferencing um, images and CAD files that had no spatial reference. But what do you do when you get uh, a, a feature class or a, a layer that has an unprojected uh, coordinate system? So <clears throat> I have some data on my desktop. Let's see if I can find that. And I have some shape files. And I have Austin. Um, but one thing you do not see here is a PRJ file or a projection file. I have a country data that does not have a projection file. And I have Oregon County shape files that do not have a projection file. When I look at these in my catalog, they look fine, right? So you just see the shape aspect of that. And I'm going to 
grab the country file and I'm going to put that in and it says um, the following data is missing a spatial reference. Um, so it can draw it. There it is. I see it. Um, the units are unknown. Um, if I set the table of contents to a projected coordinate system, I want to go back. Um, so this is projected, but let's set the table of contents to show um, the latitude and longitude here. And you can see that uh, it's showing Oregon as uh, three seconds west and one second north. So we know that's incorrect. So this is still in the wrong location. Uh, if I open <clears throat> up the properties here, oh, it has an undefined coordinate system. So I can do a couple things. I can say, well, typically world data is shown as unprojected. So I can go in here, I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to take a lucky guess that this projection was the standard sharing projection of WGS 84. So what I'm doing is I'm defining the projection. I'm creating a projection file. Now, if this data, if I'm correct, and I have chosen the correct definition for this file, it will show up in the right place. So now I'm going to look at, uh, yep, that's probably where Oregon is at 122 and 44 north. So I did a fairly good job of projecting that data. I could also put on a base map and see if that lines up with the rest of the world on the base map. It does a pretty good job. Okay, so let's say um, maybe instead of choosing WGS 84, I thought this should be a Robinson projection. That's what I'm thinking it should be. So I'm going to choose Robinson projection. And now I'm going to add it again. And I can't find that anywhere. If it were the Robinson projection, it would show up in the correct location. So I'm going to zoom to la layer. Man, there it is. And again, that's not where Oregon is. So if I choose the incorrect projection, it's not going to show up in the right place. So that's one way I know that I have found the right projection. Um, so this was, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to redefine this. as WGS84. Okay, so that's often my first, when I get data that's unprojected, that's kind of where I put it first. And I'm going to zoom to layer and that should show up <clears throat> correctly. Okay, so sometimes ArcGIS will bring data in that's unprojected and it will appear in the correct place. So let's, tr oh, well, one other thing I want you to look at. Um, seriously. Psst. All right, hold on. So now, if we look at the country data, I now have a projection file because I defined it and created it. All right. So here we go, back to ArcGIS.
All right. Every once in a while then, and I don't know if this will happen, here's Oregon data. Uh, it doesn't have a projection, but I'm going to pull it in. It says it doesn't know where it is. And no, it's not showing up in the correct place. But look here, I have a feature class that has been set to the Oregon uh, statewide projection. And that's what I think this was in, because we use Oregon statewide all the time. So I might want to just export this into that feature class because Lynn told us if you export data into a feature class it will reproject. So let's try that. Okay. All right. Let's add it to the map. Um, oh, wait. I see it. Shoot, that's not in the right location. Where's this one? Zoom to layer. Oh, maybe that is in the right location. Cool. Well, Lynn was wrong once again. Yep. So I was able um, to define that because actually that was the original projection. So it had been an Oregon Lambert projection. Even though it lost its projection file, I was able to put it into into that uh, folder and it took on the correct projection. But what if I, let's remove this one again, what if I defined this incorrectly? So what if I thought um, that maybe this was an unprojected coordinate system So because it was shared? So I'm going to set that to the WGS84. Um, I'm going to add this to the map, and, and that's not showing up. So where is that? We don't even know where that is. Zoom to layer. Man, it's not showing up anywhere. Well, let's try to um, put this into the feature data set, because it worked with the last one. So let's export that. And let's put it in here as or county test two. So I'm putting that on the map. Man, it's just not showing up at all. Um, there's my base map. Let's zoom here, zoom to layer. So that's the one that I imported correctly. But these just aren't showing up. So because this was not defined correctly, it doesn't get fixed putting it into the feature data set. So this is kind of garbage, and this is garbage in. So it, it, you can't correct a badly defined projection. OK, so I'm going to remove both of those, and I'm going to remove that. Um, so. There's a big difference between finding the correct definition and defining it and just reprojecting it. So if you get that shape file where you don't have the projection, one, you're going to check the website that you got it. See if they list at the top of the projection the standard projection. If you try WGS84 and it doesn't work, then find out, is there a standard country profile? Is there a standard county profile? Is there a standard state profile? So Oregon has a official state projection. So if I got Oregon data and I wasn't sure, that's what I would try first. Um, and, and then you just have to keep trying different projections until you find the one that lines it up. Now, you have to line it up to something you know. So if I'm dealing with data that has no projection, my process is one, add a base map. 
where the projection is correct so that I know I'm starting out with a, a data frame that is working. I also change my properties to show degrees, minutes, and seconds so I can verify where things are showing up in the world. And then I'm going to start adding data. So I'm going to add Austin, no projection. I'm going to see where it is. Okay, it is showing up in, wow, in Sweden, Norway. <laughs> okay, so definitely not in the right location. So I'm going to go through the process first because it's pretty easy. Is I'm going to try WGS84 and see if that works. And now I'm going to try it again. No, it didn't work. OK. So now I'm going to try. Um, all right, that didn't work. So now I'm going to try. Uh, maybe there's a state projection. Uh, state plane. I'm going to try a state system. So let me try a Texas and see if that's close. All right, I'm going to try the statewide mapping. Um, now I'm going to add it again. Oh, at least it's in North America. I'm getting closer. But obviously, that's not the correct projection. Oops. All right, um, or what have I got? Uh, tribal, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm diverting. Texas-centric. Um, Lambert, okay, I'm going to try another Texas one. Hmm, nope, I don't think so. That's even worse. All right, so let's remove that. So then I might do some Googling. Um, what's a good projection for Austin? Uh, see if there's anything else in the... Um, so maybe it's not that. Maybe it's one of these uh, state projections. Let me look. Maybe it's a state plane. Um, oh. Uh, North America, nope. Let's see if I have any Texas here. Let's look up Austin. Would that be? Is there anything for Austin? No. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Try Central Texas. Let's try that again. Nope. So the other projections I chose were in feet. So I'm going to try this one in meters to see if maybe that makes a difference. We're going to add it here. And so actually, one of the clues that I get is that this data, whatever projection I choose, it's going to be in feet because those counties are not only in the wrong place, but they're much bigger than they would be. So I know that the projection is not one that was in, in meters. It has to be a feet projection. So I'm going to go back and try uh, Central Texas meters, meters, meters. What have we got here? Those are all meters, right? OK, so that's not a good one. Um, oh. OK, well, let's try uh, NAD 83 feet. There's none for Texas. Um, is there any Texas here? Nope. Dang. Let's see. Let's try. I have to keep looking. Let me try again for Texas. 
Okay, so it should be in, all, in one of these. Oh, okay, so I'm going to try Central Texas. Okay. Oh my gosh, I am really close here. Um, I'm not sure, but let's turn on. I lost my base maps. Um, let's turn on that and see if I finally found it. Oh man, I'm really close. All right. So, again, but those look really big, so I don't know. Let's do that and see if I can find county boundaries here. Uh, hmm. Oh, that looks like that's following a line. That's following a river. Um, oh, yeah, there they are. So I I stumbled on to the correct projection. So, so the coordinate system is Texas. And I might have saved myself a lot of trouble. Um, if I had done some Googling. Uh, so here's a list of possible projections for Texas um, that I might have tried, might have given me some options of what is commonly used. Anyway, sometimes it's just uh, that tedious of just trying different projections and zooming in. Close that out. All right. Um, so what you don't ever want to do is change the projection, right? So here we're back in, in that, uh, example. And, um, let's say I want to make the projection, uh, from US or from a WGS 84 into, uh, Robinson projection. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, projected data. No, wrong one. So I had cleaned this up. It has a projection. But let's say um, I want to go ahead and change that because I want it to be a Robinson projection. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to change it. to Robinson, and now I'm going to put this in here, and I've totally corrupted it. It shows up, but it's not where it's supposed to be in the world. And that would be the same as uh, me changing the numbers on my house um, so that the post office is totally confused about, about where my house is. So you can't, uh, you can't change the projection that way. In order to change a projection, you have to go through either um, exporting it into a feature data set with a new projection or, or using the actual projection tool. Um, and so in the lab you're doing, South America has been defined incorrectly. So your job is to figure out uh, where that projection actually should be. Um, and um, you can reproject, you can export it. Uh, if it's correct, you can export it to change it, or you can use the toolbox to reproject. And again, uh, last but not least, if you're working with XY coordinates, um, unless you know that they were collected with a GPS set to a projection, uh, projected coordinate system, you're going to assume they are in WGS 84 and bring them in that way, and then you can uh, export them into a projected coordinate system.